hope you guys are having an amazing day. Extra piece at 47 cents, guys. What's happening? Look at this. In the past 24 hours, rank number one. Once again, guys, wait. What's happening? This is the craziest thing. Are my eyes fooling me? Right? Playing tricks on me. Definitely not, guys. The proof is in the damn pudding. Wow. It's actually happening, guys. Cannot believe it. Look at this. Extra P. Past 24 hours in the green while all these other coins in the red. As you guys can literally see, every other coin. Can't make this stuff up, guys. This is the craziest thing. Remember, the way XRP, I mean, maybe the case concludes here soon, right? Maybe there are insiders, who knows? But if the past proves the future and the future proves the past, that means one, one day XRP will overtake Bitcoin once again, guys, because it did in the past, as you guys can see, literally right here, right? And then, and then uh, CoinMarketCap did like their manipulation with data and whatnot, and then it dumped after a certain point. So, we already know the game plan, guys. It's, it's super easy. How don't people see? This isn't financial advice, by the way. This is for entertainment value only. But always remember this from Rachel Lee. The XRP you hold is gold. It will become the supra national currency, which will be used by every bank, company, nation, etc. that needs to move money across borders. Exactly, guys. This is why I'm not selling my XRP until I until the day, until I see the day that XRP is being used by the banks, all, all other things, guys, right? Um, institutions and whatnot plus other uses use cases no no longer a single uh, nation will control world's reserve currency the situation remains imminent here we go guys right at the same time remember this because we actually talked about this how guys I'm, i can't we actually talked about this years ago I'm not, I'm not, we're not even joking Banks are collapsing financial crisis. Countries are moving away from USD. All crypto projects are getting sued. Countries are implementing crypto regulations. G7 is set to have agreed. SWIFT plus CBDCs plus digital assets. All while the XRP lawsuit might be soon, might soon be over, guys. When do we do, guys? I, I'm done. It's like. It's, it's such a beautiful sight to see people are finally starting to catch up, guys, or catch on. Because we talked about how everything will happen at the same damn time. I hope the collapse here happens very sh uh, soon. But if it doesn't, it's going to get even worse, guys, right? And now, guys, there's the fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Notice this called quite interesting for Mr. Pool. As we see, he uh, new like live SEC trying to stop Bitcoin and crypto, guys, right? They basically can't. I mean, you guys can see right here what happened. A lot of things are happening, guys. Oh yeah, so that would obviously mean um, XRP will probably be granted clarity here soon, right? Not to mention, check this out. This is a very interesting connection, a mind-boggling connection from the Economist and Mr. Pool with zombie preparedness. How much longer will America's uh, regional banks hold up? That is a question, guys, or that is the question. Despite the danger, policymakers must not intervene pre uh, prematurely. Look at that image uh, right there, guys. Right, is a is a you see a zombie? Um, don't unleash the zombies, right? Don't unleash the zombies. Zombie preparedness, as you guys can see, which will connect to Mr. Pool right here. Zombies, right? Hmm. So it definitely ties in with what, guys? These banks or the current financial system, right? Oops. That's what they're about to say when the system collapses, guys. And they're not going to blame it on themselves. Instead, always have a scapegoat. Not to mention, guys, you guys know how it's all pre-planned at the end of the day. Breaking Silicon Valley Bank has just been sold to First Citizens, which will take over $119 billion in deposits. 119, which is what, guys? 9-11. Emergency. Literally, the banking system is definitely in emergency mode right now, guys. Now, remember... It's what? These Riddlers have foretold everything in the beginning of time. So it will begin in Europe, I've been told, time will tell. National emergency li level liquidity crisis in Europe. Basically, there will, there will be a crash, but there will be no depression. Two major banking giants to befall. I was told they are banking giants from United Kingdom and Germany. One you already know, one you will get to know. It started out west, will end east. Right? A German lender falls. Again, Deutsche, Deutsche, uh, Deutsche Bank, guys. Is it about to collapse, right? Seems like it if they don't come and save the day, as you guys can see all this stuff. Pretty crazy, guys. They know. And now you do as well. It gets even more crazier. Check this out from Mr. Pool, guys. He posted this a couple of days ago. Watch the Middle East as the war begins when you least expect it. Now, 
I was thinking about this um tweet for a little bit, and I I, I am basically what I thought of is this right here. Mr. Pools definitely war uh, warning us of the war that is imminent, maybe or uh will begin will begin shortly. Who knows? I don't know, but. It's going to it's going to begin when we least expect it, guys. Now, when is someone caught off guard, right? Maybe sleeping overnight, or could it actually be when everything is in peaceful mode or times, right? And then out of nowhere, suddenly in the news or on the news, you see emergency. This just happened, which uh, sparked the the next WW, right? Hmm. Can't make this stuff up, guys. Now. We go down here. Justin, massive protests in Israel after uh, Prime Minister defend a minister who opposed judicial overhaul, as you guys can see right here, guys. Wow. Everyone's starting to what, guys? Rise up, right? This is the craziest thing, guys. We're entering. I mean, the, the system is literally collapsing, as you guys can see. Nothing makes sense anymore. Does anyone remember voting for the U.S. to occupy eastern Syria? Hmm. Right? Look at this. Fox News alert. Iranian backed forces attack US bases in Syria, guys. Is it is it about to begin? Right? The world the WW3 guys. This is so crazy. Whatever it is, I know crypto loves a good war. Unfortunately, and fortunately, right? Again, excitement and grief taking place at the same damn time. That's so crazy. Wow. Even the wow, I can't believe it, guys. Is is the World War Three about to begin? Remember this, guys, that back in 2020, the thing took place and cryptos and stocks first stumped, right, out of initial shock, fear, but then it literally pumped for the next few years uh, till the end of uh, 2021. The same thing. This is how we know that we are living in an upside down world because nothing makes sense, right? When something bad happens, things go up. The reason being is because they're going to print all this money again and again and again, which will fuel the wars and all that other stuff right which will make inflation even worse but then everyone will now be trying to find a safe haven asset or inflation hedge assets guys which which will be stocks and cryptos right leaving the usd going into these commodities and whatnot prepare right remember from mr pool a year ago guys around the same time frame right syria what could it mean? Well, we know that he's definitely talking here about an external event, which is what, guys? Emergency right there, right? War. He literally told us, wait, what? Is this, guys, what? Wow. Can't believe it, guys. I mean, I am in shock, right? How is this all possible? I always remember from Mr. Pool back in October 23, 2019. I am not who you think I am. I'm just here to warn you of what is to come, which means of the events and whatnot, guys, right? Wow. Justin, two U.S. bases attacked in eastern Syria. One involved Iranian proxy uh, forces firing rockets. A second involved multiple Iranian drones, right? So the real question is, when will this new war begin, guys? The real question is, why would they want to do this, right, guys? Breaking U.S. forces and pro-Iranian forces currently battling in eastern Syria. You guys can see right here. Biden's speech yesterday or a few days ago. The United States does not emphasize uh, does emphasize does not see com conflict with Iran. Interesting. So they're building this narrative. It seems like guys, right? Hopefully, we won't see further escalations this time around. Hmm. Wow, guys. Now Biden. In the face of President Putin's aggression against Ukraine, Canada and the United States are also making clear our commitment to our NATO allies. We'll keep our alliance strong and united. We'll defend every inch of NATO territory. An attack against one is an attack against all. Wow, guys. Absolutely crazy. Wow. What do you guys think will happen next? I don't know. But maybe we do know because we're going to talk about this letter right here in just a little bit because maybe it foretells what how this will occur right at one point in time. Watch this to understand that Joe Biden will take United States into WW3 with a smile. Listen to this, guys. What, what's happening? President Bush is right to be concerned about Saddam Hussein's relentless pursuit of weapons of mass destruction and the possibility that he may use them or share them 
with terrorists. Other regimes hostile to the United States and our allies already have or seek to acquire weapons of mass destruction. This was Joe Biden in 2002, speaking as chair of the United States Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. A few months later, when the Senate was debating whether to give President George W. Bush the authority to start a war with Iraq, Biden argued strongly in favor of granting this authority. The objective is to compel Iraq to destroy its illegal weapons of mass destruction and its programs to develop and produce missiles and more of those weapons. Saddam is dangerous. The world would be a better place without him. But the reason he poses a growing danger to the United States and its allies, the threat is real and dire. That a free and democratic Iraq, if it could be accomplished, could have a cleansing impact on that part of the world and make our life easier significantly down the road, which I think could be made in an ideal circumstance. Not even an ideal, in a, if we do things right. Um, that it is worth the price. It is worth the price, guys, to start what? WW3. Right. Republicans have one last chance to stop nuclear war. Do not increase the debt ceiling. Shut down Biden, please. Stop the lunatic pipeline. That or die. Hmm. From Kim.com, which is pretty crazy. Then Putin, Putin comes into play right here, guys. And we're, when they're talking about nuclear war and whatnot, they're not even joking. Putin placing nuclear weapons in Belarus, as you guys can see right here. Basically, Moscow will stand tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. Russia has moved 10 aircraft to Belarus and that are uh, capable of carrying tactical nu nuclear weapons, guys, right? Wow. Are we on the brink of the BW3 and nuclear annihilation? Can't make the stuff, guys. Guys, it's all going to take place at the same damn time. Or is it truly? Just remember that they're all on the same damn team, right? Uh, he met with Claus. You guys know Schwab, right? From the WEF. You guys already know. But this is how we know. Because the Freemasons supposedly are in quote unquote control, guys. Perhaps I don't know. But from Albert Pike, right? He 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 had he wrote a letter to this other person back in August 15, 18, uh, 1871. If you go down here, the Third World War. This is how it will begin. So it seems like on um how he's stating it, guys. It will be between the the state of Israel, right, and the. Arabic world guys the Muslim uh, Arabic world as you guys can see so it'll be it will be between these two right there right and then and then they say right here that they're going to bring out their manifestation guys right so it's the craziest thing ever so just remember that they aren't lying when when they when they do states one thing guys right don't, don't forget that they predicted world uh, the second one and the first one as well guys you guys can pause and read both of this right look look at this guys can't make this stuff up. It came into fruition. Well, the third one soon, right? Maybe by 2030 something. I'm not sure. More talks about what, well, guys, um, that the Biden admin proxy war with Russia is push, uh, pushing us cl uh, closer to WW3. But remember, in this letter, it doesn't state that. It states it's going to be happening with the Islamic world and the state of Israel, right? And we go, and we go back here. Look what's happening, guys, right? Look what's happening back here. Look at that. Pretty crazy. Massive protests in Israel, right? What are the chances of that? I don't know. Now, the fountain for Tasty Dog Concern Baba Cuz. For all the people thinking tomorrow is important uh, because of a check, I'm just saying 328 is nothing. 823, on the other hand, is more symbolic. I'm just saying 99% of these decoders are trash, guys. Well, let's just wait and see to see what happens, guys. I'm pretty sure when um, they tweeted about tomorrow is 13, right? So maybe that's what they what they mean when XRP will moon. Not financial advice. Who knows? Let's just be patient and see. Be prepared, guys, because so many things are on the horizon. So it seems like not financial advice. But anyway, so Sophia's amazing. See ya.